guys welcome back to my channel and today I am back home yes and and I'm gonna be sharing with you guys another review swatching of a product I had never really heard of into my last fab it fun unboxing so this is something that I did receive as an add-on or as a so this is something I did purchase from their edit sale again um, I have shared it with you once before but now a little bit extra reviewing it this is what it looks like this is the lip brulee high shine lip cream set by the beauty crop ordinarily if you go on to their website you can purchase this set for $44 um, and that's on sale normally it's it's right there on my phone. Normally it's like $64, $65. So I think I purchased this for maybe seven. I don't remember that exactly. Don't quote me on it. But anyway, it was like less than a quarter of the price. So I couldn't resist. And basically what this boasts, and this is the Sultry Berry and Reds set. And you do get five different shades in this. But before I get into the actual shades, again, I really just want to talk about how cute this packaging is. It's really, really cute, very kind of ice cream shop. That's what it makes me think of. Um, and it does say that this is supposed to have, um, it's a lipstick formulation that is supposed to bring you the intense pigment of a lipstick, lasting stain power of a stain, moisture like a balm and high shine drama like a lip gloss it is formulated with jojoba and apricot kernel oil and and is cruelty free so for those of you that want to make sure it's cruelty free this is now we did just review their eyeshadow pop that i also got in that same haul i will link both those videos down below for you guys in case you want to see them the eyeshadow palette was just okay it wasn't crazy and insane good um but it was it was nice it did blend really nice they were really smooth however again it was a very similar price as this whole thing and it wasn't really quite worth that price tag to me so i'm interested to see how these play out before you start actually getting into the swatches and everything make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the other videos i have got planned coming up and without further ado let's dive into this Okay, so again, you do open it up and you do get five different shades in here. And there is a little plastic covering that protects the pigments um, and the product during shipment. So the individual actual product bottles look like this. So again, really, really cute packaging. It has like little drips up top that make me again think of like ice cream melting. And it has this kind of frosted glass, but it's actually plastic tube casing in here. Um, so really, really just pretty packaging to me. And you do have just a typical applicator for what would you get in like a lip gloss or something like that. So and <laughs> They do smell, but it's delicious. It is like a good like vanilla milkshake cupcake scent. So I'm really excited to try that out. So I'm going to go ahead and take these out of the packaging here. And I will go ahead and grab a makeup wipe because who knows how easy or hard these will be to take off. That's what we're here to find out, right? So let me go grab that and then we'll get into the swatches. Okay, so what I typically kind of zoomed in a little bit more for you guys. Um, what I typically like to do is try to start with the lighter shades and work to my way darker, but most of these look kind of dark, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it and one by one I'll tell you each of the shades. This is in the shade gum drop. So first I'll swatch it on my hand just so you can see. That is what it looks like. It's a very pink, rosy kind of berry color. Very, very pink, um, not peachy at all. My lips are a little bit dry. We've been traveling. I just got back visiting from my family. As you guys know, if you saw my last video um, where I tried my mom's makeup and with all of the traveling and just driving around, I haven't been drinking as much water as I should, so my lips are a little dry. So sorry about that ahead of time. But I'm going to go ahead and try this on to see what the texture is like, the consistency. I'm a little bit curious. So I don't even know if these are supposed to dry down. So while I kind of wait to see if they do, first impressions, I like the smell. 
Um, it's faint, so it's not like crazy potent, but it is a good like kind of soft, sweet, vanilla-y scent. Um, applying, I only had to go in twice as far as the amount of product that you get on each like pull as you go. And it's really pretty darn pigmented, so it didn't, I didn't have to like layer anything like that. Really pigmented, really creamy, really smooth. Um, it doesn't feel really tight. It does actually feel really moisturizing, like um, a balm would. It, it feels very much like I just put chapstick on my lips, but it does have more pigment. So, so far, I don't really know about the lastingness the durability of a stain or like a liquid lipstick, but so far the moisture of the balm, the creaminess, the glossiness of the lip gloss so far, and the pigmentation, I really like them. Um, it's a really pretty shade, again, a very berry shade. <laughs> Doesn't really go with my eye makeup right now, but I do like it so far. It will transfer, I can already tell you like that, so I have a little napkin here. I'm gonna just see if I kind of dab it off what kind of pigmentation is left. So that's really interesting, actually. Um, when I did that, it left this like shine that you can see, but it's like a gold reflex. It looks like I just put like gold glitter, like very micro, like or a gold lip topper on top of my lips. Um, that wasn't really there when I first applied. You could see a little bit of it, but not like to this extent. And this is very much kind of like a stain. Um, I did wipe it off. You can see here on my paper towel where I did try to get the bulk of what was on my lips off. And this is what I was left with. So I have obviously four more shades to swatch, but I think I really like this. This is this is pretty good. I'm, I'm excited to, to try this out. I don't think I've ever tried anything like this thus far. So I'm going to take a makeup wipe here, wipe it off, and we'll go on to the next swatch. And again, you guys, this is in the shade Gumdrop. Okay, the next one I'm going to share with you is in the shade Rhubarb Custard. Love these names. Again, a very like desserty style name. Also on my hand, I'm going to put it right next to Gumdrop, where I, it's already is. This is rhubarb custard. You can see that they do maintain a little bit of that glossy stickiness, so that is doesn't dry down at all for that. This one definitely, it looks like it is going to be a darker berry, like true berry color. This one kind of reminds me like a raspberry color. Let's try this one now. So again, this is the shade Rhubarb Custard. Okay, so again, same consistency. So, so far, everything is pretty much the same as far as the feel, the consistency, the pigmentation, even how many times I had to go back in, which is I only had to go back in once, so total of two um, doses, swatches, I don't even know, you know what I'm getting at, two times of dipping in. <laughs> essentially I'm pulling out color to get this payoff. Again, a really pretty, like true berry color. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful and it feels really good. So we're gonna go ahead and do what we did last time and dab off the majority of it and see what we're left with. So this one is a little bit more of a true stain. This one, um, it doesn't have any sort of like gold reflex or, sh or any sort of reflex or shine left over. Just kind of, again, that it did still leave me with a kind of moisturizing, balmy texture, but it definitely didn't leave the same kind of effect as Gumdrop did. It did look, it did stain my lip like this stain look though, so it does still look like you have pigment on your lips, even though it wipes off like the lip gloss would. So, yeah, very so far pretty consistent in the overall like effect and formula and. Um, feel on my lips but just a little bit different look afterwards so I'm gonna go ahead wipe this one off and we'll move on to the, the next shade I have here is called berry tart so is this one right here right next to rhubarb custard this is definitely more of a mauve tone than the other two were and again this is in the shade berry tart so I won't go into too much depth about the swatch. Everything feels the exact same formula-wise on consistency. Really liking this color. You guys know that I love my mauves. So really liking the color, but I'm gonna go ahead and 
And again, very similar aftermath that uh, rhubarb custard had as far as it leaves more of a stain than anything else. This one probably has the least amount of stain to it compared to the others as far as what the actual pigmentation is left, but again, a really pretty color. Oh, really pretty color overall. Next we have the more like red shade of the bunch here, and this is in the shade Red Velvet, again, dessert name. And that is this shade right here. And this is again in the shade Red Velvet. So before I kind of remove this one to see what kind of stain it leaves, I will share that it was a little, it is still very pigmented, it is still very smooth and creamy, it feels the exact same, but as far as when I was applying it, it did have to kind of just go over a little bit more to get the same type of payoff I did with the other color. So that, I mean, it was not much at all. I didn't even have to go back in and dip in to get more product, but I did just kind of have to swatch over it a little bit more. Again, very, very minor, very little thing, but I just want to be completely upfront, honest, and give you all the tea on it, so. I'm a little bit surprised by this one because the, it did leave a stain, but it was very much like the last one, which was, um, but it did leave just the, kind of the same stain part as like very tarted, whereas it's a little bit stained and on camera it looks great, but in person, you can definitely tell it's a stain and not like my lipstick where the other two was definitely looked a little bit more like the lip, lipstick was still on. So I'm surprised that because typically with reds up the one you have to like really scrub to get off because it's always staining. So that's kind of interesting that it's not as much left as it was with those first two, but again, still they are still really pretty. Okay, and I did go in and apply a little bit more like concealer in my mouth because you know with that much lipstick, what that much lipstick and that much like swatching, I can get a little red. Plus, I wanted to kind of shade out my lips so you could actually get a true idea of what the stain was left on my lips, not like from previous swatches, but from the one lipstick alone um, for this last one. And this last one is in the shade Cherry Glaze. So it looks like it is the darkest of all of them. And that is correct. And it does look kind of like a black cherry, dark cherry type look here. So very pretty. Let's see how it swatches. And again, this is in the shade Cherry Glaze. So this one was very much um, more like Red Velvet where I had to work just a little bit harder to get a more even payoff. But again, still very pigmented, very pretty. All the consistencies so far are the same. So last time, and this one did leave a little bit darker of a stain than Red Velvet did, and I think it's really pretty. I love the amount of color that you still get, and it still feels very hydrating afterwards. So, um, yeah, so this is it, you guys. I one just wanted to quickly kind of swatch and share my thoughts on each one of those. I am actually really impressed. I'm more impressed with these lips than I were with than I was with the eyeshadow palette. I think if you were to get one or the other, if you want to spend that much, it would definitely go with the lip products. Um, very pretty colors, very so um, very moisturizing, very very creamy, very, very pigmented, and I'm really liking the way that they are looking on my lips. Even afterwards, again, this is the last stain that I have, and it is still lasting. These are, again, all of these shades here on my hand, if you just want to see. So again, we have Gumdrop here is the first one. We have Rhubarb Custard, which is the second one. We have Berry Tart, Red Velvet, and then finally Cherry Glaze. So I just wanted to give you guys that kind of final review of everything. I really like them. I don't really have anything negative to say about them. They're pigmented, they're creamy, they're moisturizing, they do leave a stain. It's everything that I described. Uh, so I can't complain and the packaging is adorable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comment section. Of course, have you tried these? What did you think? Did you like one color above the others? Let me know. Share with me your thoughts. I love hearing them, um, good, bad, and different, all of the above. So again, make sure you do that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. But until I can get more videos out for you guys, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.